in those green pastured mountains of Fadavazi, everybody feels fine at 103 because the air that they breathe is potassium free. In January, my office began a book drive benefiting reading partners in Lowe's and Fish's Mustard Seed School. Our goal was to have contributed 2,013 books in honor of the year 2013. And I'm delighted this morning to announce that in fact, we have well surpassed our goal. We have collected over 3,000 books. Does that sound good to you guys, over 3,000 books? Who's gonna read 3,000 books? All right, excellent, excellent. And, what do you, and then what are you gonna do next week? Yeah, you gotta be done today. And we have some of those, those books right, right here uh, on display. Now we've had a host of, of partners that I, I wanna recognize in, in this wonderful effort. Uh, among them, many of uh, 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 my constituents throughout the 7th Assembly District in, a, in addition, Bret Hart Elementary School, Children Now, Children's Choice Pediatric Dental Care, Clayton B. Wire Elementary School, the Crocker Art Museum, uh, the Department of Education, Grant Union High School, the historic Old Sacramento Foundation, uh, Image Orthodontics uh, in Natomas, the Natomas Bike Shop, Sacramento City College, Sacramento County Latino Democratic Club, uh, the Greater Sacramento Urban League, young professionals who actually have organized uh, a reading day. Uh, and I want to give you some facts that, that I think capture why it's so important that children learned to read. First of all, of course, I want to note we're celebrating Dr. Seuss's 109th birthday, 109 years old this last weekend. But he catch some of these statistics because they're pretty sobering. Only a third of all students entering high school are proficient in reading. Only about 15% of African American students and 17% of Hispanic students. Only, this is truly unbelievable, only 31% of college graduates have high level literacy skills. And in 2005, 70% of 300 surveyed college instructors found their students to be unprepared for college level reading and comprehension. In 2008, California reported only a third of public school graduates were prepared for a four-year college. And much of this has to do with the inability to be able to read well. So we know what the consequences are. Children who don't read are four times as likely to drop out of school. In fact, every school day in America sees over 3,000 students drop out. And the vast majority of those students are poor readers. But the consequences go beyond just to the ch children who don't read well. The Coalition for Juvenile Justice reports that 82% of prison inmates are high school dropouts. And more than a third of them read below the fourth grade level. So that tells us exactly how important learning to read and making reading a lifelong habit is. Now I want to especially thank uh, Marlena Ulrich, author of Grandpa's Hands, A Child's Celebration of Family, for contributing her personal works. There's Marlena over there, so let's recognize Marlena for what she's done. And some of the other con contributors. Ms. Uh, Mina Perez also contributed over 300 books. And Mr. Bill Nichols from University Technical Institute. Bill's the one who's just kind of blending in with the crowd over here. <laughs> He's our own, here's our own Dr. Seuss today. Bill actually sold a book that had been in his family for almost three decades in order to take the proceeds from selling that, that book and buy more books to contribute. And his one book that he sold actually allowed 71 more books to be purchased, to be contributed. So Bill, we really want to thank you for all you've done. If education is the great equalizer, then reading is the first step towards reaching equality. Studies have shown that regardless of income, children who grow up in homes where books are abundant go further in school than those who don't. It's really that simple. The old saying is, if you give a child a book, you give them the world. So I want to thank all our contributors for sharing that special gift, the gift of giving 
the world to the children who will receive these books. I hope, I hope you share the same excitement I do in seeing all these books here and these young people who are going to get a chance to read them. Since it was Dr. Seuss's birthday this past weekend, I'd just like to leave you with a short quote from The Good Doctor. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go.